but you will not believe the day I just had, so don't say anything and just let me talk, okay? Great. Today was supposed to be easy since I'd already done most of the work for the client yesterday, but when I got into the office, my supervisor was standing at my computer with one of the new hires. <laughs> Normally this wouldn't be a problem since, you know, what's he gonna do, right? He's probably just checking over my work or something, but this time, this time he had definitely messed about with something because he was like frantically clicking around and typing I don't know what. So I walk up because it's my desk and they've obviously done something to it and my supervisor turns to me and is like, your code is broken. So obviously I'm like, what do you mean my code is broken? It was working perfectly fine yesterday. Now the new hire's looking all nervous as I'm trying to see what happened and my supervisor's all, well, I found some stuff I didn't like in it so I removed it at Ryan's suggestion. Ryan's the new employee, if I hadn't said that already. Anyway, I go in to look at what they deleted because the idea that they would just delete something out of my code is insane. And I immediately clocked the problem because he moved a bunch of commands around to try to hide it or fix it or whatever. I don't fucking know what that idiot was doing. And, because why would a boss make things easier or just not touch them when they're working fine, he's deleted one of the most important bits in keeping the fucking website functioning. So, now the code is all jumbled and doesn't work, but it wouldn't have worked anyway even if it wasn't jumbled because he deleted the part that could actually make the website, you know, a website. Now I'm realizing I'm fucked because I have to send the site over to the client for review today and the whole thing has collapsed like one of those game towers. You know, the kind where you pull one block out at a time and try not to be the one to cause it to collapse. Yeah, he pulled the wrong brick and desperately tried to make it not fall over, but in the process just completely demolished the whole thing and made the table collapse. That's how fucked it was. And it turns out our source control was misconfigured, so there's no fucking backup. That's not on me, that's on the DevOps guys. <laughs> so at this point I'm trying not to scream or cry, I'll just quit on the spot because that was days of work that they just reset completely for no reason beyond I found some stuff I didn't like, which, by the way, what does that even mean? How can you just not like part of a piece of code, especially one that works fine and does what it's supposed to do? It was pretty readable even. How is this man my supervisor? How does he get paid more than I do when all he does is rant on and on about how easy we have it as coders and web devs, but when he tries to do the same stuff we do on a daily basis, he always screws it up without fail and then tries to claim it was our coding and not his own stupidity? Where was I? Oh. Right, so I tell them to get the hell away from my desk so I can try to salvage this before the client gets pissed, but obviously that pissed off my supervisor, so he's just yelling at me while I'm trying frantically to fix what he deleted and put it all back together so that it at least fucking compiles. And this man has the audacity, the gall, the... I don't even know what it is, but he starts reaching for my power button because he's mad I'm not listening to him yelling at me. Which, by the way, is a stupid thing to do when your dev is actively trying to salvage a project for a high-paying client. And then, because I'm an idiot and a moron, I slapped my supervisor's hand away, which is a surefire way to get fired, but at this point, I don't even care, because it was justified. The supervisor keeps yelling while I'm literally slapping his hand away with one hand and frantically typing with the other, because it's less than two hours to the deadline, and I have to completely rebuild the whole site to have something even remotely functional. At some point, he stops yelling and just drags the new employee away, probably to go to complain to the CEO or the supervisor or the supervisor of the supervisor or however that shit works. I don't know, I'm just a rank and file employee making barely minimum wage. Which, by the way, is totally unfair for all of the work I'm doing. Like, come on. I've been there over a year now and I've barely gotten more than 3% over minimum wage. That's basically a deduction from a pay instead of a raise like they claim it is. And with the client I'm working for right now and the other clients we've had call us up in the past, I know the execs are making money hand over fist. While I am basically making pennies an hour for doing the actual work that makes them money. Stupid. This job sucks. But yeah, I'm scrambling to get the website functional and not even caring about the presentation at this point. I mean, who fucking cares? Half the functionality is broken because I'm sure I can bullshit my way into an extension if I mention my supervisor or something. But as I'm doing a test run, the client calls and tells me that they need something completely different. So they'll be providing a five day extension to the deadline so I can change literally everything about the site's presentation. <sighs> At this point, I'm sweating to death as I thank them because that literally just saved my ass, but I'm definitely about to get written up for slapping my supervisor. When I hang up the phone, the supervisor's supervisor is coming towards my desk, so I know I'm fucked, but the first thing I say is, it wasn't my fault because I'm not thinking and my last brain cell has been used up by trying to fix this website in under two hours. The super supervisor just looks at me funny and tells me to do what I have to do in order to salvage the project and that he's written up my supervisor for interfering with my work and I'm just staring at him with my mouth wide open. The super supervisor looks at my computer and sees that I've just about managed to fix everything and that the project deadline has been moved, so he tells me to take my lunch early, which I don't even respond to because I think I'd gone into shock at that point or something. So I just sit there looking like an idiot while he walks away to do whatever it is he does. I finish the rest of my day in like a 
catatonic state because I literally can't process what happened and then I went home. Now all I want to do is to get shit-faced and eat a Chinese or something. Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh. Fuck. Yeah, no, you're not Reese. No. Must have misdialed in... God. I'm so sorry. I've just ranted at you for like 10 minutes and uh, you don't even know who I am. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Um, <clears throat> I'm so sorry about all this. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm glad to get an outsider's opinion. My supervisor is a grade A dickhead, isn't he? Trust me, I know. Uh, the website? Yeah, it's mostly done now. Uh, the changes they wanted shouldn't take more than another day and a half, I'd say. They really overshot with the completion deadline. I'll be done in less than two days. Maybe one if I just hunker down and get on with it. <laughs> no. Surprisingly, I wasn't fired or written up or anything. I am probably going to quit, though. The friend I meant to call has heard more of these rants than I can even count. Yeah, it's... Well, I like the work I do, but uh, the level of expectation does not correlate to the level of pay. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, I like web development and everything. It's interesting sometimes, but it's, uh, it's more of a hobby than something I'd like to spend my life doing. It pays the bills, but barely. Yeah, it's just burnout. You don't need to worry. I mean, hell, you don't even know me. <laughs> I called you by mistake. And here I am going on about how stupid it is to work and not... Well, something I'd enjoy instead. I should just do what I planned and get pissed and order a Chinese before I have to brave next week. At least it's Friday, huh? <laughs> oh god, no, I, I don't work weekends, thank god. I mean, sometimes they insist on it if I really need to in order to finish a project or something. But even then, that's like two out of every four or five weekends. God, that's a lot. My job sucks. Why can't I just, I don't know, go off and live in the middle of nowhere and not have to work in order to live? <laughs> Be nice, wouldn't it? To just live in a way that isn't dependent on how much money you can make for someone else before they decide to justify giving you enough to live on? <laughs> Look at me, going on and on. I should be embarrassed. I am a little embarrassed. I tend to ramble when I am, you know. That's probably why I'm still uh, talking. <laughs> well, <laughs> cute. <laughs> I mean, you don't. Um. <laughs> what? Uh, well, no, I'm not embarrassed. I, well, I am, but I, I mean, you just, you just called me cute. <gasps> me. No, no, it's not. But I, uh, well, <laughs> I'm not really sure what to say or do or anything. Am I, should I do something or say something? I really don't know. Oh, mm, my name, my name, right, yeah, I am, uh, sorry, <laughs> I'm a uh, phasmid, P-H-A-S-M-I-D, not that, I mean, that doesn't really matter, just a habit, what, uh, what about you, your name, hmm, it's, uh, can I say it's nice to meet you if we've not actually, uh, met? <laughs> I guess, well, wait, first, hmm, yeah, the number is pretty close, I just mixed up two of the digits, do you, like, live near this area, I mean with the area code, or have you moved somewhere halfway around the world and I've accidentally rang you in the middle of the night, wouldn't be the first time I've done that to someone, but, um, embarrassing to do it again, huh, Oh, you do? Really? Well, I'm 
Glad, then. Huh. I mean, that I didn't just call you in the wee hours or whatever. <laughs> but uh, thanks uh, for listening to me. Maybe I should have just gotten drunk instead of picking up the phone, though. Uh, no, I'm sure I wouldn't have called you if I was drunk. Probably? No. No, I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have been able to dial anything, much less a wrong number. There's no way. Saren. Hmm. Yeah, I guess it could be serendipity. That's like a... Uh, the thing where something's supposed to happen in a certain way, right? Like fate? Uh, more like good luck by chance. Okay. I always uh, forget that one. <laughs> but I guess it was a random stroke of good luck that it was you that picked up and not some absolute cunt or something. <laughs> well, I'm glad then. <clears throat> I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna hang up and order that Chinese. Thanks for listening to everything. Not that I really gave you an option. <laughs> Huh? Uh, yeah, I know that place, yeah. What about it? For drinks? Me and... and you? Um, I mean, I... I guess I, uh... <laughs> I'm not sure. How do I... I mean, what would I... Really? Uh, are you sure about this? Uh, t tomorrow? I, I mean, I, I guess I am, uh, am I? Hold on. Um, uh, uh yeah. Yes. I, uh, I mean, I'm free. So, what do you think? Say, six o'clock tomorrow night? Yeah? Okay. <laughs> Perfect. I, uh, I'm looking forward to it. Really, though, thanks again. I, I appreciate, well, you know, tomorrow then. I'll, uh, I'll see you.